Hey guys, Jack here with Jack Flash, ready to start another episode on my 1993 RZX project. As you can see, the engine bay is filthy over there. Filthy everywhere really, but really filthy on these frame rails right here. And yeah, I've got a lot of crusty wiring, lots of stuff that needs to be replaced or at the very least cleaned up and restored. So I'm really not looking forward to this part, but I also really, really want to get this car done. I'm going to go ahead and get at it. I'm going to try something new and use my GoPro over there to get some time lapses of what is going on. Hopefully give you guys a better idea of what exactly it took because it is super hard to film all this stuff. All right guys, as you can see, I've made some pretty decent progress here. Obviously, all this bright yellow right here, compared to all that dingy bullshit over there, it's looking a lot better. This is cleaning up pretty good. Oh, fuck yeah, I love losing bolts like that. Anyways. Okay guys, so I've just taken the nose panel off and I'm doing that to gain access to the screws on the back of the condenser and all the lines and stuff so I can get that out and that will give me a lot more access to everything else. I can take all these intake pipes out and stuff. Just a little bit more room to clean. This looks fucked to me, but uh, I guess that's factory wiring. So that's pretty cool, pretty nice.
so here's where I'm at after just kind of slowly working my way at it. I'm working underneath the dash right now. And I just found something that you guys might think is a little interesting. Check that out. Fucking snake skin inside the car. Goes up behind those wires and stuff. So, yeah. It's actually the sixth snake skin that I found, but it's the first one I found inside the car. So that's kind of cool. All right, guys, so I took the brake booster off and the gasket was pretty stuck on there and uh, it took quite a bit to get it off. Ended up having to sand that off, so I'm gonna need to put some new paint on there. Here's what is underneath the headlight I just removed. Bunch of dirt and stuff. There's a fuse, a spider, a uh, had a little screw that was in the back of the need to be in the back of the headlight, so I put that back in. Yep. Gonna pull the other side out now. And we got the front bumper off, and we've been pulling off just really anything we can. I'm about to try to get the rest of this shit down here off that cover, and these lines right here. You can see I've already bagged up the fuse panel. So that way, whenever I go to power wash it, it doesn't get all ruined. I'm gonna try to see how much of these wires and stuff I can pull through the wheel well and get out of the way. Same on that side. We've got everything out of here. Got our wiring all bagged and taped up. And got all the stuff out of the front, all the pipes out of here. So really just need to plug these holes back here and then it will be ready to power wash. So we're gonna go ahead and push this outside, plug those holes and spray this thing down. I'm here working on the fuel system now and just revealed this beauty. So not only is it extremely dirty, which like this is the top of the fuel tank. So how this much dirt gets up here, kind of beyond me, especially when it's just been sitting. But um, you can see there's some spiders and then these wires over here, kind of hard to see, but they are just down to the raw titties. Doesn't look like this thing's ever been removed. I'm going to shop vac this out real quick because it's really nasty in there. All right. Just got that all vacuumed out. It looks 10 times better than it did before. Still not perfect, but gotta admire the improvement. Oh man, I just found some stuff in here that I am is so unhappy about. Look at that. Oh, so awful. That is so much worse than I thought it was gonna be. I'm not even gonna lie. So I'm gonna try to get this all the way out and then see what it looks like down inside. But at this point, I'm already, I'm probably gonna need a new gas tank. That's awful. No, I did not find this at the bottom of an ocean. Though it may appear that way, it actually came out of this Nissan. And I am scared to look what's in that hole. So instead of looking in there, I'm just gonna pull the sender too and uh, do that first. All right, so we've got that cover off and it's just as dirty in here as it was in here. So I'm gonna vacuum that out again, and then do some thing, take it out, show you guys how crusty it is, and keep going. Gonna have to clean that side out so I can go work over there. Okay, so I've got that out. My wife came out here and helped me, so that was pretty sweet. You can see just from the state of the O-ring, nasty. Look at those crystals. I'm actually scared to look in here, but let's go ahead and see. Oh 
Good lord. That looks so bad. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm gonna need a new gas tank. It's at least gonna need, oh my God. It's at least gonna need cleaned if I use this one, but the baffles are dirty. There's crystallized ethanol, I'm assuming, on everything. All right, so since that gas tank was so bad, uh, my buddy and my wife helped me pull the subframe. So to do that, pulled the two bolts out of those on each side, which requires you to remove all the trim. And then I also ended up taking the bottom bolts out just to make it easier to maneuver. Uh, I forgot to unhook these before I dropped it, so make sure you unhook these. Take those two bolts out of each side of the top and unhook your brake line that goes right here on each side. And as long as you don't have the high cast four wheel steering system, you can just pull one, two, three, four nuts and it should just slide right off unless you have a really rusty one. Was thankfully not very rusty on this specific car, but you'll see that's a stud right there. There's one over there on the other side. And then there's one on the front right there and right there. So now that all that shit is out, you have access to the gas tank. I just pulled the cover that holds this on and it's also nasty as fuck. So I'm gonna vacuum all this shit out, vacuum all these spider webs out, vacuum that shit out and then get under there and pull the gas tank, which we now have really easy access to and all the lines all the everything is unhooked already so it should be pretty much just unhooking the mounts and dropping it and unhooking the filler neck all right so i got the filler neck disconnected um i'm about to pull it and start draining the fuel you're gonna see how dirty and disgustingly brown it is you can see there's just nonsense coming out of there so i'm trying i'm gonna get it pull it fully off so it can drain faster and then uh, show you guys what's in the bucket. That is the gas that came out. It's really fucking nasty. It smells fucking awful. And as you can see, it's just brown as shit. It looks like diarrhea. So these are the lines. Take a look inside the tank here. Yeah, everything is just rusted up. Got some disgusting caked up shit on the bottom of every surface, top, bottom, middle, you name it. Get a look at this sender here. Just gnarly. It smells foul. You can, obviously, everything in there is just ruined. So, Luckily, the parts car had a really good tank and set of lines. So I'll show you guys what came out of there. So here is the tank out of the parts car. And as you can see, it looks like 10 times cleaner in there. It's probably because the parts car was ran recently, but the frame was rusted out. So that's why it was parked. This was parked because the timing belt snapped while it was going down the highway back in about 2008, 10 ish. And then I bought it in 2019 and it's 2024 now. There also was some better lines on the parts car, so they aren't the best, but they are in a lot better shape than the ones that came off of this car. The engine bay looks pretty good compared to where it started. Um, it's real bare right now. This is the main concern right here, so I'm probably gonna get a media blaster and get all up in there, and then get all up over there. That's about it for this episode in the next episode i'm gonna be working on the gas tank also getting that subframe back there rebuilt with some new arms and some bushings and stuff like that thanks for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one